Focus on your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to be in touch with how the breath feels in the body at all times. As for other thoughts, just let them go. Let them go. They can be like clouds passing through the sky, because you can't really depend on them, just like you can't depend on clouds. Some clouds come and they look like they're going to give rain, and then they just disappear. Other clouds stay for a while, and then they don't finally give you some rain. And other clouds sneak up on you and dump rain and hail and snow and all kinds of things on you. So you can't really depend on clouds. It's the same with your thoughts. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good. You want to be here in the present moment so you can watch how and why the mind gets seduced by these things. Otherwise they pull you off and they drop you off someplace else. You can't really depend on them. So the question is, what can you depend on? Well, it turns out it's the goodness you develop inside, the goodness of your thoughts, words, and deeds. And where do we get guidance in that? When we're born, we don't have any manual that comes along with us that says, this is how to live a good human life. We have to look around us and see who we can trust, who's really happy out there, who has a happiness that's dependable. And all too often we see people whose happiness looks good on the outside, but if you give your life over to trying to find that happiness and gain that happiness yourself, yourself you find there's nothing much there. This is why it's so important that we found the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. These are our guides to what true happiness can be. The kind of happiness that it takes effort, but at the same time it really is reliable once you've got it. So when you find someone trustworthy like that, and you find a teaching that's trustworthy like that, you've got to give it your full attention. You've got to think about what your life is and compare it with that. So you've got something you can really depend on. Measure yourself against these teachings, and if there's any place where you're lacking, okay, you can make up the lack. That's the important part. You don't have to depend on someone else to come and do this for you. You can do it yourself. So you learn how to depend on yourself. And this way you come without much guidance, but you've learned from good guidance from outside, and you learn from your own powers of observation inside. And you learn from the quality of truthfulness. Just really be true to yourself about when you've made a mistake and when you've done something well. That way you can sort out what you can continue doing, what things you need to change. And this way you learn about how to live a good life, how to live a life that's really reliably happy. And at the same time, it doesn't cause any harm to anybody. It doesn't harm you, it doesn't harm anybody else. That's an important aspect of this happiness, is that it's totally pure. It's totally blameless. So look inside to develop these qualities inside you, and you find that there is the refuge. The guidance comes from the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, but the actual refuge is the qualities that they develop and then you develop inside yourself. Once you've got them inside you, okay, then you've got a refuge inside that nothing can take away. Even as you get older and your memory begins to fade a little bit, if you found, really found the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha inside, okay, that, that's a refuge that, can, that you never forget. We take, use the word refuge also means something that you keep in mind, saranang, something that you hold in mind all the time. So as you go through the day, Remember, there's guidance that comes from the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. And how would that apply to each occasion? Try to be settled in your breath so that you don't let your emotions run wild. And you begin to see, okay, you get a lot better guidance by holding them in mind, holding the teachings in mind. They really become part of you. When they're part of you, okay, that's when the refuge is secure.